Okay, and let's um, go to Apache NetBeans website. Download. We have um, 11.3. It just came out a few days ago. Download. Okay, I'm going to install uh, installer. Again, I recommend you to use uh, Saba 11 or 8 if you're going to use Saba FX. So Windows 64. Okay, that's the one. Download. It will take uh, two minutes to download. Okay. Here you go. Again, the installation is um, straightforward. Next. Okay, validation. Okay, finish. Um, if you install more than one JDK, you may need to set up Beans configuration file. So let me copy installation directory, open Notepad as an administrator. Look for um, open and then look for Java program files, NetBeans installation directory, etc, and then NetBeans configuration file. You go down. Here, I already have it, but uh, that means JDK home. You may copy paste your Java version. My case is uh, uh, JDK 11.0.6. Okay, paste it 
and then save it. Now um, NetBean is going to use uh, JDK 11.0.6. Okay, because I do have a JDK 8 and then uh, 11, so I need to set up that configuration. So help, help, about. So NetBean is using 11.0.6, okay. Here, um, plugins, unlikely you need to install anything. You can set all of them and then you may update it. It's a new version, so there's nothing to update. Here, I like to do one more thing here. The font size, I actually use 16 to make it bigger. And then comments, I use uh, magenta instead of a gray. So that looks uh, slightly bigger on screen. Java with ends, Java applications, I will use the name as it is. So NetBeans create a project and create one file called Java Applications 75 for Java. System uh, print, just print hello world. All Java source code you need to compile. Then you can learn your Java program. Okay, it's done. So that we can launch it. Hello world. Okay, that's all. Thank you.